A society without money, often referred to as a moneyless society or a resource-based economy, is a theoretical concept that envisions an alternative economic system where goods and services are exchanged without the need for traditional currencies. While this idea has been explored by various thinkers and movements, it's remained largely hypothetical and faces significant practical challenges. Here's how a moneyless society might function. Welcome to Urban Fintech at the G-Spot Studios channel where we try to make finance and technology sexy. I'm your girl G. Resource-based allocation. So instead of using money as a medium of exchange, goods and services will be allocated based on sustainability of resources and the needs of individuals and communities. Central planning or advanced algorithms could be used to manage resource distribution efficiently. Abundance and sustainability. The moneyless society would ideally prioritize sustainability and focus on meeting the basic needs of all of its members. Through advanced technologies and sustainable practices, it would strive to create an abundance of goods and services to ensure that everyone's needs are met. Collaborative and sharing oriented. The emphasis would be on collaboration and sharing rather than individual ownership. I mean, just think about it. We're all born here on earth. None of us own any of this shit, yet everyone's so territorial and want to claim or colonize things that don't really belong to them. Communities might collectively manage resources and prioritize them for the common good. Automation and advanced technology. To achieve efficiency and abundance, automation and advanced technology would likely play a crucial role. Robots, AI, and other technologies could take over mundane and labor-intensive tasks, freeing humans to focus on creative and meaningful pursuits. Wouldn't that be nice? Education and personal development. In a moneyless society, personal growth and development could be highly valued. Education, arts, and culture would be accessible to all members of a society, fostering a well-rounded and fulfilled populace. Why not? Voluntary or excuse me, voluntary participation. <laughs> While a moneyless society would aim to meet the basic needs of everyone, participation in activities and projects might be voluntary. People could choose to contribute their skills and time based on their interests and passions, which I think would be more fulfilling, more meaningful, and just a more beautiful world if people are actually doing the things that they enjoy and want to do. Resource management and decision making. Decisions about resource allocation and community projects will be made through democratic processes, ensuring that the collective voice of the people guides the direction of society. And although we like to think that we live in a democratic society currently, particularly here in the United States, some people would beg to differ. Equity. I think that goes without saying. There's no definition needed. A moneyless, cashless society would ultimately provide equity to those who may have been disenfranchised throughout the modern day society. It's essential to recognize that transitioning to a moneyless society presents significant challenges and uncertainties. Some of the potential challenges include motivation and incentive. Without traditional reward of money, questions arise about what would motivate individuals to work and contribute to society? I can just sit at home and chill out. Scarcity and allocation. While a moneyless society would aim for abundance, resource scarcity might still exist. Deciding how to allocate resources fairly and efficiently could be complex. But again, as we become more advanced as a society and have different algorithms and different supercomputers that can do this kind of um, 
allocating for us, I think it could be something of great benefit for the common good. Transition period. Moving from a monetary-based economy to a moneyless system will require a substantial shift in societal norms, infrastructure, as well as institutions. This transition period could be challenging and require a careful amount of planning. And lastly, one of the other challenges would be global coordination. Implementing a moneyless society on a global scale will require international cooperation as the current global economic system is deeply intertwined with currencies and markets. So you really have to get that buy-in. Overall, a moneyless society is an intriguing concept that explores alternative ways of organizing and distributing resources. While it presents exciting possibilities, it also raises significant practical challenges that will require careful consideration, experimentation, and widespread societal buy-in or force, depending. But what are your thoughts? Is a cashless resource-based society sexy or just plain silly? As we continue to evolve and move toward sustainable models and ways that work, that benefit the, the betterment of everyone, I just want to remind you that one of the biggest currencies is time. Be careful how you invest it. And the ultimate, ultimate, largest currency is love. Be sure to spread it. Thank you.